steaming bowl of udon noodles. These thick wheat noodles come in so many varieties. It's a great meal any time of the day and in Japan, it's so popular that you'll find it everywhere. In the supermarket next to the instant ramen, you've also got udon. Here's a cup udon. The noodles are a little thicker and the soup different than ramen. Udon can be bought frozen or fresh in the refrigerated area next to the tofu. There are so many styles to choose from. Everyone has their own preference. But where does the best udon come from? Let's take a trip to udon country. The best udon comes from Shikoku Island in a prefecture on the north, Kagawa. Here lies the Sanuki region where some of the country's best wheat is grown. The capital city is Takamatsu, and you can't dismiss their love for udon noodles. You're greeted by them right at the airport. My first stop is Densuji City, famous for the square watermelon, and this place, which makes handmade noodles fresh every day, Miyagawa Seimensho. Starting at the crack of dawn, the wheat, water, and salt are mixed and rolled. Miyagawa has been making udon for decades. The thickness of the noodles is rolled by instinct. It's then cut. The machines do it fast, every noodle even. You can see that it's cut thick. It's floured again so it doesn't stick and then stored. Or boiled right away, depending on demand. The store only closes when all the noodles are sold out. Now it's time to try a bowl for breakfast on a hot summer day. It's all self-serve, which is the system all throughout Kagawa. Grab a big one for more noodles if you're hungry. Take it to the kitchen, where you'll get a healthy serving of fresh udon directly from the chef. We're not done yet. You can warm them up if you like. This helps bring out the flavors of the noodles. Ah, now the soup. It's fish-based and salty. Miyagawa has a big cauldron, so help yourself. All right. Ah, fish, really? And add some fish, too. Miyagawa's udon dashi has iriko, or sardines. Wow! Take as many as you like, or just a few. Now that you've got a bowl of basic udon and soup, grab a seat. So she told me first I should try to drink it and if you want more flavor, go back and get the toppings that you want. That makes sense. That makes sense. So 
Salty. <laughs> Salty. Uh, you can taste the dashi, the fish soup. And a little bit of, of the, the noodles, the wheat in that. Yeah, it needs more. We're back. The next part is a lot of fun. Hanjuku tamago. Picking your favorite tempura. Chikua? It's not an easy decision. Ah, but Hanjuku tamago is so good. Ah. Ah, should I go for the half boiled egg or the chikua, which is the deep fried uh, fish? Fish. Stick. Yeah. Ja, hanjuku tamago, konkai. Ja, ashita kore ne, chikua. Hai. Ah, hai. Ah, it's a hara imasu ka? Ah, okay. Perfect. Arigato gozaimasu. With a little negi, it looks more like a full sized meal now. Look at that half boiled egg. I'll get to that soon. Well, this place is great. You just walk in, you, you pick the bowl that you want based on the size, how many noodle helpings, a one, two, or three. You go to the cauldron where he's got all of the noodles freshly made, puts it in there. You decide if you want it hot or cold by boiling it yourself. Then you pick your own toppings. There's like 20 of them. And then you eat it in a place like this, and the price is very affordable. This is like Udon paradise. But how about the taste? Only one way to find out. Many people had told me that the noodles were firmer than in Tokyo. Yeah, compared to Tokyo, the noodles are a little bit um, harder, more rubbery, which is good. Very good. Udon is much thicker than ramen noodles, usually cut four to six millimeters thick. While ramen noodles are yellowish in color from other ingredients like eggs, udon is simple wheat flour, salt, and water. The super broth? Well, that's a different story. It's dashi, fish-based, but of course here lies each soup's secret. The taste must match the noodles. Eh, it's fish. But wait, I hope you haven't forgotten about that hanjuku tempura tamago. That half-boiled egg is all mine. Soft and delicious. There's something just really good about Hanjuku Tamago, half-boiled eggs. The shop is almost always packed with locals who know about this secret location. At lunchtime, the line goes out the door, people devouring their bowl, sometimes in less than three minutes. The fun is taking what you want and constructing your own perfect bowl of udon. When the tables and chairs are full, eaters head to the benches outside. Get there early and have your own table. You have to find your own spot to sit. It's first come, first serve. Miyagawa-san is constantly hard at work, but she took a few minutes to sit with me to talk about her delicious udon noodles. So, how many years have you been here? This place. 40 years. 40 years? Wow, so I've been making udon every day. Every day I've been making udon. なぜ宮川のうどんこんなおいしいですかそうだねビューティフルまあ水と粉はどこでこうでも一緒やわな水とラブラブラブラブ how to eat udon properly? You're doing it wrong. Udon の食べ方ラーメンみたいですか？うどんはのどごし。うどんはあののどごしでもあんまり噛まんのじゃなくて香川の人は噛む回数が少ない。うん。はい。はい。だからあの一本一本。
ぐちゃぐちゃぐちゃぐちゃ食べるんじゃなくてスーッと喉越しでそうだよね、うん、逆さん早い早く食べていきますよそう,そう早いよ信号一つ<笑>あ青からそう青から次の青になる間にもう自分で作って食べてお金払って帰る信号ワン。こっちも<笑>シグナルは<笑>そうそうそうだから逆さんみんな並んでるけど、うん、早い,いつも空いてるやったったでそうそうそうそうお客さん待たさないのがうちの主人のあのポリシーというか、うん、心構えというか、うん、そうかそうだからだから早いはいはい。はい so a lot of the success of the udon is the the speed of the turnover in which the customers come eat leave and they're always coming そなんでうどんすっごくそんな人気ですかそう中川の人は朝昼晩うどん食べても OK、うんうん、食前食後全部 OK っていうぐらいみんなうどんが好きなえ毎日食べてる毎日食べてるわお朝昼夕ご飯も、うん、夕ご飯は食べないけど朝まあ一日一回は食べるからう,う,うどん、うん宮川さんにとって、うん、うどんとはうどんとは、うん、おばちゃんあと何年できるかわからんけど何年できるかわからんけど私ができる限り主人のお父さんとお母さんが守っ続けてきたものをおばちゃんが守る、うん、それが私にとってのこれからの、はい、今家族このそうそうそう家族でやっとるけんな、うんうん、だけどまあ娘がついてくれるかさあどうなんなるかわからんけどまあそれもあの私や主人を見よるけんそんな言わんでも分かってくれると思う,うんそれを守っていくだからずっと同じレシピそうそうそうそう同じレシピだけど10年前20年前の人が来てもああこの味この味この味が食べたかったんや言うて喜んでもらいたい A simple food like udon always has a great history, and Miyagawa san's udon goes back generations. The same taste your great grandfather enjoyed. A few towns away is Udon Ipuku, ranked number one by many Japanese food websites. I came here to find out what makes it so popular. This self serve udon shop is simple to figure out. Grab a tray, decide the type of udon you want, hot or cold, and the size you want. Tell the cook your udon order and it will come fresh to you. This machine dries and adds air to the noodles, enhancing its taste. Add some soup and voila! While you wait for the noodles, you have time to decide which delicious tempura you want. Here, it's always coming hot from the fryer. Lunch usually costs less than 500 yen, a bowl starting under 200 yen. At peak hours, finding a seat can be hard, but people eat fast and a spot always opens up. There it is, bukake udon, served cold. My two choices for tempura. Udon in this area is firm and springy, mochi like, but also rubbery. It will fill you up for sure. Ipuku add some flakes of seaweed into the batter, adding a nice touch to their tempura. This onion and mini hot dog tempura is a store specialty. You won't find it in Tokyo. When you finish, bus your own table. Take your tray to the washing area, throw your chopsticks and trash in the appropriate bin. Easy! I asked the owner Watanabe san about his udon and why the shop isn't open for dinner. 夕ご飯はおうどんは食べないです。飲みに行く。飲みに行くか、お家にお米がある。皆さん兼業農家なんで、お,お家でお米作ってるんで
おうちにお米が必ずあるんです昔はあの小麦が香川県でよく取れるんですで香川県は雨がすごく少なくて小麦とあとお塩塩がよく食べたんで,でそれを合わせておうどんを作るっていうのがよく言われてます出来たて出しててでやっぱ足で踏む工程をすることでもちもちっとした弾力これを作ることができるんでそれだと思いますフレッシュで出来たてやっぱりうどん is a breakfast and lunch food which leaves rice for dinner but in Tokyo it's different イプク has a satellite うどん shop here open until 8 pm it's quite stylish inside Rather than self serve, customers order by vending machine like ramen. And this is a bowl of sunuki udon here in Tokyo. Now it's a little bit different than what you'll find down in, in Kagawa Prefecture in Sunuki, but it's really cool that you have a chance to eat it here. Udon in Tokyo is not as firm, but it's still really good and much healthier than ramen. The best udon chain in Japan. In Tokyo and nationwide, there's a chain called Marugame Seimen. It's self served just like in Kagawa. The menu is pretty big, and the prices are perfect. Under 300 yen for most regular sized bowls. My favorites are the Kamatama udon, curry udon, and meat udon, with an onsen tamago, of course. It's so cheap that you can sometimes afford to buy more than one bowl. Why not go for all your favorites? So, whether you enjoy udon in Kagawa or a big bowl in Tokyo, take a break from ramen and visit an udon shop for a freshly made bowl. With a side of tempura, you may just like it more than ramen. Next time, let's head to Shinjuku's West Gate for a trip down memory lane. Omoide Yokocho is a historic food paradise.